All right, Shalom, Shalom, Yasha Allah. Back with another GMS on the go. I'm Brother Nakam. I'm with the Raleigh, North Carolina camp. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakak, Wadash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone from teaching us this truth according to the Bible who rule well. And a double shalom to all the society throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and righteousness and sincerity to the best of your ability. You know, and I was able to get up today through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemawah Shah. Yahweh, that's who the world equally calls God, which his name means he is or he exists. And Yahweh Shah being the only begotten son, that's who the world calls Jesus, which his name means he saves or he delivers. You know? And I'm just going to get into a Lord willing edifying lesson today on. We are at the end. It's high time to awake out of sleep. I'm going to say that again. We are at the end. It's high time to awake out of sleep. So without further ado, I'm going to dive into it. Grab my first precept. Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latino Americans, are edified. All right. This is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. That's right. And this is speaking to you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans. And how are you supposed to know the time that you're living in? Going back to second address nine and one, just reverend paraphrasing it. You have to measure the times diligently within itself. And how do you measure the times diligently? By the way, the scriptures, the prophecies, you know? When you start seeing uproars of the people going on, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. When you start seeing earthquakes and diversity meaning different places, when you start seeing a famine of food and thirst coming to pass, when you start seeing more charity sightings, which the world ignorantly calls UFOs, when you start seeing these other nations prepare and gather missiles to be shot off to this place called America, when you start seeing these prophecies coming to pass, then you're going to know the time, the season that you're living in. And then you're going to know that what? It's high time to wake out of sleep, spiritually. You see, it's high time for you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, to wake up out of that sleep that you're in. From what? From falling the ways of this place called America. You know, from eating these abominable foods, such as shrimp, pork, crab, lobster, worshiping these false gods who are no gods, like Allah, Buddha, the Hindu god of Sheba, Santa Maria, Bafa, Met, Jesus Christ, indulging in sodomy, two men together, two women together, committing adultery, sleeping with the next man's wife, vice versa, marring your beard, making baldness upon your head, celebrating these pagan holidays, defiling your temple, you know, and much more. It's high time for you so-called Negroes, Latino Americans to wake up out of that sleep. You know, it's time for you to come back to your nationality of who you was created to be, the Israelites, from whatever tribe you're from. You see, because this devil, this so-called white man, E, is going to come down with great wrath because he knows they have a short time. You see, this devil's about to make the RFID, which is the mark of the beast, mandatory. So it's high time to awake out of sleep. It reads on. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. That's right. Speaking to you Israelites, your salvation is nearer than what we believe. Really, chiefly the elect, because only the elect is going to be saved on this side. You see? So, I, I, so the elect of the nation of Israel, salvation is nearer than what we believe. It's close. You see, to a lawyer, how is is going to crack open the, um, the sky and come back in the chariots with thousands and thousands of angels? You know? So it's time for you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, you Israelites to wake up, man. We're at the end of this thing. Prophets are speaking. The vision is speaking. So I'm going to grab my next precept. This is Micah. Brothers know I'm going. Chapter 2. Verse 10. Arise ye and depart. That's right. And Micah speaking to you Israelites. You so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shah. And again, Yahweh is the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shah being the only begotten son. You see, and Micah's telling you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, to arise and depart spiritually. You see, wake up from the ways of this place called America and depart. You see, come out of the ways of this place. Give it up. It reads on. For this is not your rest. That's right. America is not you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans rest. You're not supposed to be over here getting comfortable, trying to make it over here in this place. We came over to America to what? Serve out our punishment from going off from disobeying Yahweh Bashima Shah. But what do you see? You see the majority of our people trying to make it over here, getting comfortable when the scripture just said this place is not our rest. It reads on. 
because it is polluted. That's right. This place called America is polluted all around, man. From the chemtrails that we breathe in, that's coming out of these planes, from the fluoride water that we're drinking, from the GMO foods that we're eating, from the bloodshed of the so-called Negroes, Latin Americans in this land. This place is defiled all around. It reads on. It shall destroy you. And this place called America has destroyed our people, man. Our people messed up right here, man. It reads on. Even with the sword destruction. That's right, because now that this place called America has destroyed the majority of our people, now it's going to destroy them with a the sword destruction. You see, because when this place called America go down, by the way, those 200 ICBM missiles, the two-thirds of our people are going to go down with this place. Because what? They trust in this place. Because they're at rest. They're comfortable. So it's high time for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans to wake up, man. Again, we're at the end of this place. This devil, this so-called white man kingdom is falling right before our eyes. Grab another precept. Is this it? Bear with me, Akim. I gotta try to find this precept I'm looking for. Yep, this is it. The water. Yeah, I buy some shot. This is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest spiritually. And arise from the dead. That's right. So you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, you need to wake from that sleep that you're in. And you need to arise from the dead. And what's the dead that you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans need to arise from? From being in that dead state of mind. You know, from following the congregation of the dead, which are these heathen nations. Going back to Proverbs 21 and 16. You see? Because if you're spiritually asleep, then you're spiritually dead. So the scripture is telling you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, to awake from that sleep and arise from the dead. It reads on. And Hamashiach shall give thee light. And the light that Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is going to give to you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, once you wake up from the ways of this place called America or wherever you're at, is this truth. Because this truth is the light. So if you want the light, you got to wake up from the ways of this place called America. You got to see things for what's really going on. You see, so again, man, we're at the end of this place. It's time to wake up. Probably got one more preset. I'm going to close out. I ain't trying to make this a long lesson. Uh, let me see. Jeremiah. Bear with me, Yakim. I got to look for it. Can't remember if it's in Isaiah or Jeremiah. Flee out. Where is it? At? I don't want that one. Bear with me, y'all. Can fill up. Uh. Let me. I'm gonna bring that one out. That's a good one. This is Jeremiah chapter fifty-one, verse six. Flee out of the midst of Babylon. And Babylon being what? AKA America. So the scriptures is telling you so called Negroes, Latin Americans, to flee, to come out of the ways of this place called America. Again, cast this place called America behind you. It reads on. And deliver every man his soul. That's right. Get right with the God of the Bible, Yahweh Bashim al Shah, before all hell breaks loose. Get right with them while you still can, while you still got time. Be not cut off in her iniquity. That's right, because America is likened unto a woman. That's why the scriptures say don't be cut off in her iniquity. Don't let the way of this place called America get you destroyed, get put to death. It reads on. For this is the time of the Lord, Yahweh Bashima Shah's vengeance, which vengeance means righteous judgment. So the times that we're in, the Lord is going to bring death and destruction upon the face of the earth. And this is going to be the Lord's righteous judgment, what he's about to bring upon the face of the earth. He will render unto her a recompense, which recompense means to pay back. So the Lord is going to pay America back for all his wickedness. So it's time for you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans to wake up and flee to come out of this place called America. Because again, we are at the end. All hell is breaking loose. You know, so that's my lesson, man. I don't want to be a dead horse. Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel was edified. 
Before I go any further, I'd like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Kakwadash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone from teaching us this truth according to the Bible, who we will, and a double shalom to all the Susayakim throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth in righteousness and sincerity to the best of your ability. Till next time, shalom, kwam, yasha'Allah.